Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mid Pokemaster here today with the GDL Season 1 Week 2 Team Builder in Battle against Chizzy. Can't remember his team name. Yeah, I believe this is his first draft league. Decently known content creator. Really good at just, you know, standard showdown battles, smoke on. Good pals with Leo, so he's in this league. So after a I believe O2 or 3 loss against AA Ron 2420 last week. Let's see if we can pick up a our first one of the season here. So yeah. And before we get into the team builder portion of this battle, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more draft league content. And you want to watch more of my content in general. So yeah. His team consists of a Como O with I believe Clanger Soul Band, Grimmsnarl, Steelix, Quillfish, Chinchino, Volibee, Poltegeist, Manetric, Delmize, and a Dynamax Captain and Basculin that he sniped for me, which was unfortunate. But, you know, we have a greet in, which is cool. So, I'm bringing a Life Orb Offensive Rosard with D Gleam, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb Synthesis, with enough speed for Como O, and this thing kind of destroys his team. One shots Como O with D Gleam. Does a lot to Grimmsnarl with Sledge Bomb if doesn't kill. Does 50% to a Steelix with Giga Drain. Quillfish can take a few hits. Jinchino, we can't kill because it'll always have speed. Poltegeist is like his only switch into this thing. Manectric doesn't really want to take a move. Delmize, once his chip dies to Sledge Bomb. And Basculin doesn't want a Giga Drain. Next, Choice Man Halucha with Limber. With enough speed for, I believe, Chinchino. Limber, because of, like, T-Wave, Grim, Snarl, if he doesn't think about it. If he thinks I'm going to be, like, unburdened close combat. With close combat, Braver at E-Turn, Drain Punch just kind of destroys his team if I can collect the right move. But he can easily bring just a few mods to where I can't just collect Brave Bird or close combat or Drain Punch. It's like, if he brings Quillfish, I can't just log into a fighting move. And if he brings Steelix, I can't just log into a... What's it called? A flying move. So I messaged. I'm was on, I'm on sports waiting for a battle while I record this. So I see Leo and I'm like, Weevil's bad. And he's like, like your opinion, man. He'd be lying. Weevil's bad. And then we have a physically defensive man, the buzz, just for things like the Como O, the just basic pivot. Basically, you pulled the guys can't bring it. So I thought that. Can't break it. I mean, not bring it. With foul play, you turn roost defog. Just thought it was really good mod this week. Offensive age slash with autonomize close combat iron head shadow claw. With enough speed to outspeed Chinchino at plus two, kind of destroys his team if I can get it in at the right time. Physically defensive gastrodon with scald earth power clear smog recover. Just another defensive mod, and then. Bulky setup alchemy with combine deagle mystical fire recover. Can do and really here we good are against this team with the battle. I don't know how likely it is for me to click combine. I just didn't think there was a fourth move, and I can see combine. So you know standard so, yeah, rules. But, you guys have seen the team builder. If not, go back and watch it. GDL week two. I believe this is it. Yes. So it's the same team as last week, just with a few changes. So he's just making sure it's all me. Since I forgot to tell him mine in game names, my actual name. But let's get into this, guys. After a week one loss against AA round 2420, we want to redeem ourselves and get pick up a nice win. So he's got what's it? What's this the first thing called? Delmize, Quillfish, Steelix, Chin Chin, Chin Chino. Pulte guys and Como O. Oh. So like Mandibuzz is like extremely good here, but I'm gonna lead off with Rosary because it can pretty much pick up a KO against anything. 
Steelix, it can't. But Steelix is a bulky boy. If I would have been Leaf Storm, yes. But like just max HP Steelix only takes a little bit 50% from Giga Drain. If he's not like Spadef. And depending on his set, he can actually live two Life Orb Giga Drains. How much does Quillfish take? It really just depends on what his lead is. So here we go. Let's get into this. Got our boy Chizzy. I think this is his first draft league. I'm not 100%. I know, but from what I can tell, he's like good at Mons. So you can't really like, you know, not count him as a good battler. So he leads with Delmise, huh? I think an actually decently well can decently take a I can't think a sludge bomb so I kind of want to go like mandibuzz here because I feel like that takes any hit well or I could go alchemy but mandibuzz is a pretty safe play here because he's not going to want to stay in on the foul play or the U-turn or the Brave Bird. So what does he go for? He goes for an anchor shot. So let's see how much this is, like what kind of set he is. So of course it's a crit. That's unfortunate. 217. This is why you never wish your opponent good luck. Because something like this will happen. So he's just pretty much adamant. He's probably, um, what's it called? I can't think. Assault Vest. But Foul Play literally KOs him here, even if he's max HP. So if he stays in, that's just like a godlike read. So, you know, I kind of got a... I'm really surprised no Grim Snarl, because I feel like that thing could take on my team decently well why does that always why does it always do that when I'm in the middle of a battle literally anytime I'm recording something else it doesn't pop up all this and of course I went back over there and messed it up so yeah so he's gonna switch out into quillfish man this man using up all our time with that the shiny sparkles so let's see how much he takes here. Takes like 6%. So like that's a pretty easy Gastrodon switch in. Cause this thing does not want to take a earth power. So like what would be a switch in here? Probably like Pulte guys. It's probably gonna go Pulte guys here. Delmise. But I go for that Scald, so hopefully we get that burn. Because if we get that burn, that'd be fire. It takes around 30%. No burn. Man, that took a lot more than I expected. That's, that's kind of weird. But you know, that's kind of another easy mana bus switching. Or it could go Roseway, Rose Raid. Cause, but he knows I'm not going to... That's a tough one. I want to get in my... What's it called? I can't think of what Age of Slash in on it. Because then if I get my weakness policy off... He's going to switch out, actually, into his cool fish. Is he just going to go for, like, a toxic or something? I'm not really too worried about that. If I would have stayed in and, like, predicted that, or gone into my rosary like I was thinking, that would have been awesome. 
but does Quillfish get toxic this gen? And sorry that that keeps popping up. That's what I get for trying to make high quality content. It's one of the few ones that still gets toxic, okay? So he's probably gonna try to toxic me or like toxic spikes. So he just sets up regular spikes, okay. But now I can just kind of go Halucha. Because, like, Halucha just kind of destroys this. What's it called? Quillfish? With a Brave Bird? Or I could just go Roserade. Make them think I'm going to set up my own hazards. I'm just gonna do this and go for Giga Drain. There's no reason for me not to. Take one thing of spikes, that's fine. He's at like 98. So like depending on the spread. And he could easily be, what's it called? Like Destiny Bond? But then I would just synthesis the next turn. I went for Giga Drain, right? I hope so. But like depending on his like spread, this I don't think this will kill because he'd have to be like no HP, which wouldn't make sense because and even then it's a roll. So I should have been like energy bar or like leaf storm, but I wanted the a little bit of recovery back. But like if he goes Pultigeist. Yeah, he needed to switch out there. Yeah, Pulti guys takes like 50% from a Giga Drain. Yeah, that took straight 50%. So like, and what what item is he? Citrus leftovers. Does this thing get like psychic? Cause. Even then, it's a roll. That's just like some HP investment. But I want this thing gone and out of my face. But it's like he could, he's gonna go Chinchino after this and go for like Tail Slap. So, like. Does Gastrodon take that after a spike? A choice band? Tail slap? Does that kill? It does not. But I'm at max HP, so I should be fine. That kind of sucks. Goes for strength sap. That's kind of weird. So he's back at around 50%. How much? Like, what's my attack stat on this thing? Yeah, because if he's not a lot of HP. Yeah, because he's only 60 HP. Hmm. Kind of want to go Alchemy here. You know, set up a Calm Mind maybe. Even though that brings in Quillfish every day of the week. I need to get more hazard control. So I'm switching out. Let's see what he goes for. So what does he go into here? Steelix. That is a rip in the chat. But if I can get a mystical fire off here. Because what do I need this thing for? It's just kind of here for Como, -O, but I have other checks for that. So I can just get enough chip off on this for like something else to come in and win. That's good enough for me. 
But like I need this has I need hazards because like otherwise I wish I would have had more hazards because Quillfish kinda just keeps coming in and destroying me here. But really it just comes down to who's gonna win who's gonna kill one mon first because this is like a really fat game. Yeah, we're like twelve minutes in and no kills yet. I'm going to keep going Rose Drain and trying to pick up kills here. I don't know what he can do to me specifically about that. Like, he's going to go for Poison Jab here. He's easily going to go for Poison Jab here. So, I'm just going to go into Halucha. I wish I would have been like SD or something. Because that just wins right here. I'm not even going to lie. He just sets up two spikes. So I need to get my mana buzz in. To clear those. It's so like Halucha against Quill Fish. This basically kills. If he's not like super defensive, like just max HP. But like if I would have been SD right here, I think I'd just win. But I just need damage on something. Let's see how much this does. That's a nice animation. Yeah, that thing is super defensive. Waterfall. Of course. Absolutely crits. But I just ha I have to sack this thing off here. He's going to go into Celix and that's fine. Because then I just go out in my Roserade and I pick up a kill. Haluch is going to go down. I'm not going to calc any more this game. I'm just going to, you know, click moves. Because I'm getting to a point where if Aegis Slash gets an autonomize and a weakness policy off, I win. And Rosary can just pick up kills. Is he going to let me just take this? He does. But we're going to be 5-5. Five, five. Halucha kills Quill Fish with Brave Bird. Halucha dies to Reef Quill. So I'm just going to go Rose right here. If he goes Shinchino, that's good for him. Because I don't have a switch in. Cause like if it, but if it's choice band, it kind of wants to either hit tail slap, knock off or bullet seed. Yeah, that's a good play. Because it knows knock off will kill me. Or it's a roll. So, I'm going to go Aegis Lash here. Because I'm in shield. No. I'm going to go Alchemy because it doesn't do anything at all. And I'm just going to click Mystical Fire. Goes for knockoff. So I made the right play. So he's Life Orb. So now I can just... I should have gone Mystical Fire like I said I was. But that means I can go into my... What's it called? Aegislash? If he's smart, he'll just go for the U-turn. Like if I... If he kills me here. So 
I believe I outsped with Aegislash. Yeah, I did. And I believe I kill a Steelix at plus two. If it's not like physically defensive. But he's gonna go for Steelix here. I should have gone for Mystical Fire, like I said. That did a decent chunk. Some mystical fire, and if he has speed, that's like a big rip. Imagine if I would have been like Combine but Berry Berry. I don't think it would have done anything. I think it just would have been a cool set. So I don't know how long we were recording before the match started, but this I've been recording for 17 minutes. What's he going now? Poteigeist? But now it's just gonna get a minus one. So I can go for Deeglim here. Sorry about my dog, by the way. I know I say this all the time, but sorry. Yeah, I don't think this battle's gonna finish. Which is dumb. Nothing my opponent's done, just the way they did Wi Fi this gen. And it's like, I could easily try to like kill this thing fast, like set up a calm mine and try to timer stall. But I don't feel like that's fair. So I could go Pulti Geist. I'm not Pulti Geist. I could go. I can go Mana Buzz here. I'm gonna set up a Calm Mind right here so I can try to break through this thing. Goes for Willow. That's interesting. Sorry about my dog. She's throwing her bone across the room in the living room. So now they're at like 60. But like nothing wants to kill them in on a D Gleam here. Yeah, D Gleam here is my best play. Because D Gleam into Mystical Fire kills the Steelix. Goes for Substitute, okay. Three minutes left, so we got to hurry this up. So that's going to be around 50%. If he's trying to timer stall me, I'm going to be upset. If he's like rest. Memento. So, Pulte guys kills itself with Memento in front of Alchemy. So, like, that's an easy Chinchino. Yeah. But I'm just gonna deagling, there's no reason to switch out. Cause he could have missed that and it would have been really nice. Conchino kills Alchemy with Tail Slap. But now I'm just gonna go here and click Autonomize. If he goes into Steelix, that's fine. If he clicks knockoff, that's GG. I 
I just have to hope I. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, we have to go super fast here. I feel like this is either going to end in me losing or a tie. I should have just clicked co close combat there. That was a misplay. I was trying to go for game when I needed to just try to win with the amount of time we had left. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to win here. Steelix kills a just slash with Cuz no matter what I go into, he I don't kill. I'm going to go into this. Yeah, this timer sucks. This battle in here, or do we get one more turn? Because I want to go Scald. I don't know if this does anything. Yep, lost the timer. Not my opponent's fault. He played the way he had to, I played the way I had to. It just sucks to lose like that. So, I don't know if we're going to like try to continue playing or what we're going to do, but if this is it, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.